so guys in this particular video i'm going to be showing you how you can make at least 70 dollar daily simply by trading cryptocurrency on the binance spot so as you obviously know binance spot trading is all about buying a particular coin low so that when the coin rises up in value you can sell it high and make profit but the main obligation on the binance spot is to know the right time to buy low and sell high that's the more reason this video is up today so i can show you a very simple yet most effective strategy you can literally utilize so as to help you know the right time to buy low and sell high that way you can make at least 70 usdt each day simply by trading spots on the binance exchange so if that sounds like what you are interested in smash the like button for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let's hop into the video real quick so first thing first if we should head over to the binance home screen right here and then click on the gainers section because by default yours might be on the loser section or the all section so make sure that you are on the gainers section so click on the gainers section right there and right here on the gainers section you would get to realize that some coins like this particular wld has made over like you know 52 percent in the last 24 hours so that's what i'm saying the main obligation is to know the right time to buy low so that when the game starts happening you are going to get included and we have icpa that has made over 35 percent in just the last 24 hours some of the coins here are making like 19 percent 25 35 and so on and so forth so this strategy i'm about to show you is going to help you know the right time to get into the coin so that when the huge gains start happening you are going to get included so first thing first you would have to be adding on to the newly listed coin on binance because the moment binance you know announce any coin being listed on their exchange the coin has a very good potential to the upside but keep in mind don't randomly buy coin when the coin got listed on binance because majority of the time when the coin got listed newly on binance it normally take a while before those huge gains start occurring that's the more reason you need to stick around in the video so i can get to show you a very simple yet most effective strategy you can literally use to implement on those newly listed coins so you can get to know the right time to buy the coin and keep so that when those huge gains start happening your portfolio might already be smiling to the bank so if i should give you a very simple case study on this of what i've just said about when the gains is going to happen take an instance with this particular one called you know tia because if i should click on view more you get to realize that there are other coins that was previously being listed on binance and uh, let's click on the tia and let me show you what i meant by you know don't randomly buy this coin when the coin got listed because it has been proven to consolidate back down before those huge gains start occurring take an instance with this tia let us move straight to trading view and let me show you a clear view of tia because binance also got this chart from trading view but it is most likely going to be the same thing basically so as you can see right here when the coin got listed on you know binance newly the coin was you know traded at about 2.8770 like it got listed 
about 2.8770 or thereabouts at this open body candle okay and during the day when the coin got listed and it was traded obviously this is the date 31 october 2000 you know 23 and during the day when the coin was you know traded it went as high as um you know 2.9986 and it also went as low as um 1.8962 and closes at during the day in the last four hours based on the candle time frame i'm currently on and it also closes at about 2.4494 so after there about you can see the coins start consolidating back down before those huge spikes happen so that's what i'm saying the list goes on and on and on if i should also show you this particular one called ark it was also got you know listed a couple of months back on binance but it do take a while before those huge gains start occurring as you can see when it got listed this consolidation year is normally predominant so don't randomly buy coins when it got listed on binance because it has been proven to consolidate before those huge gains happen if i should also give you a very good case study on cyber usdt you get to realize when the coin got listed also the consolidating back down is always predominant before those huge spikes happen to the upside okay so stick around i'm going to be showing you how you can also apply the same strategy to the present coins that has been listed on binance because recently i got a notification from binance that they will be listing bl bl this particular one here called B L U R E A E U R J T O and the rest of them bonk and the 1000 satoshi and the rest of them so let's look up this um, B L U R. let's see how we can also apply the same strategy to the present coin right there because the BLUR is a newly listed coins okay so let's look up the BLUR real quick there so as you can see BLUR is being listed newly and I told you when it's been listed don't buy it yet because majority of the time it has been proven to consolidate before those huge spikes happen okay so there are two very effective ways you can literally use to buy those coins when it got listed on binance so you wouldn't have to miss out of the new like you wouldn't have to miss out on those huge gains basically because if you are a total beginner you might end up getting confused in terms of knowing the right time to get in so that when those huge gains happen you are going to get included okay there are two predominant methods the first one is very suitable for beginners and the second one will be kind of like an advanced level okay so let's start with the advanced level first of all before we get into the simple one so the advanced level is very simple when the coin is being listed like i told you the consolidation is always predominant so all you would have to do is to draw in your train line like i've drawn right here and wait for a breakout of your train line okay let me give you a reference case study on the tia okay on the ark i sent out to the premium students so at uh, this one when it got listed newly i drew in my trend line there and when price finally broke out of the trend line i had to get into the coin okay so let's head back up to the blur usdt and let me show you the same thing right here so like i said you have to wait for the breakout the more reason this trend line is there is because it has touched year one two three and when it finally broke out of the trend line i'll be getting into the coin i'll probably have to send it out to my premium students you know group as well okay so that's it for the most advanced way if you want to be more you know advanced you can literally do that within those coins that are on the newly listed ones don't 
do it with the ones that has already made those huge gains and you can see it right off by clicking on it okay so this one is very clear and it is very you know obvious that it hasn't made that huge gains yet so only deal with those newly listed coin that is being listed newly not the ones that have made those you know crazy gains so the most simple one and the most effective one as well because i literally call both of them effective because it is very simple for you know beginners as well this second one i'm about to show you to be precise it is by applying something called dollar cost average okay dollar cost average is very simple it is a very good trading strategy you can literally use to you know get into a coin bit by bit so let's say probably you have one thousand dollars to invest on this particular coin and you wouldn't have to like to miss out on those huge gains so you might end up applying dollar cost average so that even if anything that the market should do it is none of your concern all you need to do is to buy it bit by bit so you have one thousand dollar you might end up dividing your one thousand dollar to like three places so first you buy like um 300 dollar or 350 dollar around here and wait and watch all what the coin will do when the coin keep going down you buy more like probably buy it at 44 cents when it goes below 44 cents like 43 you buy more you buy it more like that like that so that when those huge gains happen your profit is being guaranteed in total just invest your money bit by bit that's what dollar cost average means so i think i've said so much and enough about this strategy and it is very simple majority of the time it do happen and it has been proven but keep in mind this is not of financial advice i have to put out this disclaimer because what has happened in the past might not happen in the future but it's very good to like keep a reference because majority of the time it has like 80 percent possibility to happen again so keep in mind as well you can also conduct your own research as well before taking the right food decision as this is not of financial advice this is based off of educational purposes only okay so i think that'll be all for now then i'll probably catch you up in my next section bye for now